Hi guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. What we're making today is campfire chili and it's going to be so so good. What we're going to use is we're going to use a cast iron Dutch oven and we're going to go ahead and make this from scratch. So thanks for being here guys. I hope you like this recipe. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add olive oil to the pan now we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop up one red onion and we're going to add that to the pan. Now we're going to chop up one half of a green bell pepper. We're going to dice four stalks of celery. We're going to add this to the pan. We're going to chop up sliced pickled jalapenos and we're going to add that to the pan along with one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now we're going to add the seasonings or the spices to the pan. As you can see, we've um, already stirred and sauteed the uh, vegetables there, but we're going to add one and one half tablespoons of chili powder. And now it's one tablespoon of cumin. And then it's one teaspoon each of oregano, sea salt and pepper, garlic and onion powder, coriander and splenda, and one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. Okay, just go ahead and stir that around and you're gonna finish sauteing it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add one pound of ground turkey. Season the turkey with salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder. Now add a small can of black beans. And what you're going to do is you're going to reserve the liquid so that the turkey cooks in the liquid. Now add a large can of chili beans and reserve the liquid and add that in there as well. And then just go ahead and you're going to stir all of that up. All right, guys, and we are just using Bush's beans is what we're using. Add a little bit of coffee. Okay, so David's gonna go ahead and pour the coffee in now, and it's instant coffee. Add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. 
Add one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Okay, so half a tablespoon of liquid smoke is what we're going to put in next. And I'm having David help me because this fire is just way, way, way too hot. Thank you. You can just kind of dump and pour and figure this out, but add some salsa to it. All right, David, just go ahead and pour until I say stop. Okay, a little bit more. Perfect, thank you. Then stir it to combine and go ahead and cook that over the fire. Make sure that you're constantly stirring it just to check on it, make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom. And then you're just going to wanna to move it on the outskirts of the fire so that it'll cook slower and it'll kind of simmer. All right guys, so I went ahead and I stirred the chili. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover it and then we're just gonna let it simmer and it's just gonna cook. David is pointing at the sauteed vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and add those. And um, David, I'm gonna have you hold that up over the uh, chili. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it down. Thank you so much. Give that a stir. And this has all the yummy seasonings in it. And now we're gonna cover it. There we go. Thanks, David. And voila, there's your chili. Some serving suggestions that I might suggest is sliced avocado with a little bit of sea salt and some fresh lime juice or lemon juice. And then also you can um, maybe use a little bit of sour cream, some jalapenos and some ch cheddar cheese on it, shredded, or you can cut it up. It's also, it's really good like that. And then maybe also um, some Spanish olives. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the show today of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine, Campfire Chili Cooking.